is, this is a science march, so I assume you all knew there was going to be a quiz. This is about last November's election. Did America somehow vote to melt the polar ice caps and kill the coral reefs and acidify the oceans? Did we vote to reduce the EPA's research budget by a whopping 42%? Did we vote to defund safe drinking water by one-third? No! Did we vote to eliminate environmental work in Chesapeake Bay and San Francisco Bay and Puget Sound and the Gulf of Mexico and the Great Lakes? No! Well, that's what we got. Forty-seven years ago, on the first Earth Day, 20 million regular, everyday Americans including millions of angry students, rose up and stormed the political stage and demanded, demanded a clean, healthy, just, resilient environment. Forty-seven years later, to my astonishment, we're back in the same spot. We've got a president, a vice president, a cabinet, and the leadership of both houses of Congress who are all climate deniers. They are scrubbing climate change from federal websites and ordering federal employees not to use the words global warming in any communication. This, this is not conservative politics. This is the Inquisition gunning for Galileo. It's now crystal clear that the man who lives right there did not come here to drain the swamp. He's filling the swamp to overflowing with conflicts of interest, with a White House that reeks of greed and sleaze and mendacity. Yeah. America has had 45 presidents, but we have never before had a president who was completely indifferent to the truth. <laughs> Donald Trump makes Richard Nixon look like Diogenes. We are racing now toward a climate cliff, and our coal-loving president is punching the accelerator. And so millions of us are marching across America and around the world. Our job is clear. Today is the first step in a long-term battle for scientific integrity, a battle for transparency, a battle for survival. So. Don't leave here thinking that you came out in the rain, all of you, this awesome crowd, standing in the rain, freezing, and thinking, now you've done your part. Because you haven't, not yet. Like, like that first Earth Day, this Earth Day is just the beginning. And in that battle, losing is not an option, because if we lose this fight, we will pass on a desolate, impoverished planet for the next 100 generations. I'm old enough that I can remember when people all over the earth saw America as the world's best hope. Today, right here, right now, all of you, let's commit ourselves to becoming the world's best hope again. <laughs>